Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again. So we now have an explanation why we never got any GTA 5 single player story DLC. Now this is coming from GameSpot and it says Rockstar Design Director, I'm probably going to butcher his name, Imran Sarwar, hope I said that right, has explained that it was not really a conscious decision to not release single player expansions for GTA 5. Instead, it just happened to work out that way, he told Game Informer. Sarwar added that Rockstar would love to make single-player DLC for its other games in the future. As a company, we love single-player more than anything, and believe in it absolutely for storytelling and a sense of immersion in a world. Multiplayer games don't rival single-player games. Who doesn't like single-player games? Oh, right, EA. Gee, thanks for canceling that Star Wars game. Um... With GTA 5, the single player game was absolutely massive and very, very complete, Star Wars said. Further explaining why GTA 5 never got any single player expansions, Star Wars said it came down to a lack of resources, in addition to the company's focus on its next big game, Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, I guess that makes sense. I mean, you know, starting up a new game like that probably needs, you know, a lot of love and attention. I mean, since the game has been delayed once already, I'm sure it definitely needs, you know, a lot of attention and love, you know, and resources and stuff like that. You know, since Rockstar is basically a perfectionist when it comes to their games, I mean, yes, they did have some problems with GTA Online, but I mean, the single player stuff, fantastic. I mean, you know, all their games are just amazing. Uh, so, for GTA 5, we did not feel single-player expansions were either possible or necessary, but we may very well do them for future projects. Uh, Sarwar, Sarwar went on to say that bandwidth issues are a constant concern for Rockstar because we are perfectionist. He added, to make huge complex games takes a lot of time and resources. Not everything is always possible, but we still love single-player open-world games more than anything. I don't think you could make a game like GTA V if you did not like single-player games and trying to expand their possibilities. Now, Rockstar's parent company, Take-Two Interactive, has never released specific revenue figures for GTA Online, uh, which makes most its money through microtransactions. No surprise, I mean, at least their microtransactions are not as bad as other companies, who I will not name, even though you know who. Uh, you know, basically, you know, basically their microtransactions are just basically cash. GTA money. That's really it. I mean, it's not like you're buying loot boxes, you're not buying different weapons, more powerful weapons and stuff like that. You know, it is just money that you do use in-game to purchase items that basically anybody can already get. You know, just because, you know, you buy a $5 million uh, shark card and you purchase said vehicle, I can still buy it, you know, maybe not right away, but I can still buy the same vehicle as you, still trick it out the same way as you, same armor, same engine, yada, 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 and, um, you know, it will still be an even playing field, so at least their microtransactions are not as bad as other companies. Plus, on the flip side, um, all their DLC has been free. Never had to pay for any DLC. So, I mean, on the flip side, that is a good thing. You won't see really any other companies doing, you know, something like that. Um, where was I? Um, but the game is almost always called out in earnings report as a top driver of what Take-Two calls recurrent consumer spending. Uh, Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick, I hope I said that right, has referred to GTA Online as the gift that keeps on giving as it relates to revenue. The base game GTA 5 continues to land in the top seller charts worldwide more than four years after its initial release in September of 2013. So basically, yeah, there you go. That's what it comes down to. You know, just lack of resources. You know, they do have to focus on GTA. Um, yeah, GTA. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, it is a brand new game. It did get delayed once already, so... 
you know, as a basically a perfectionist company, you know, they want to make sure they put out, you know, the best game as possible. You know, if they did try to work on, you know, GTA 5 single player story, I'm sure they'd have to take resources and people away from Red Dead Redemption 2, you know, so they could work on this DLC. And then that would possibly push Red Dead Redemption 2 even further behind, you know, because you're probably going to take, um, I don't know, maybe some writers, maybe some artists, I I don't know, you know, because you get to write up a story, you know, for these characters and stuff. So I'm sure that would be taken away from Red Dead Redemption 2's writing. So, I mean, it does make sense. And of course, you know, when it comes down to the business, you know, GTA Online is basically the big money maker, you know, because basically Rockstar is like a, how do I want to say it? Um, like a one game company, you know, they don't have, they don't really have multiple games going out there, you know, bringing in all sorts of revenue, like bigger companies, like Activision, like EA and things like that, who will have five, six games out there all at once bringing in money. You know, Rockstar is basically, here's one game, and they basically rely on that, you know, to bring in their income. So, of course, GTA Online is their big money maker. You know, it is probably very easy, very simple to do little online DLCs, you know, make a couple of, you know, quick storyline, not storylines, um, well, I guess storyline missions, um, you know, drop some new cars, vehicles, um, you know, little things like that. I'm sure it does not take very long to do things like that. I'm sure it doesn't take uh, many resources to do little things like that. And of course, you know, that is always free, that it always brings in or brings back, I should say, uh, you know, more people to GTA Online. And of course, buying those microtransactions, the shark cards and everything like that. So, but that's basically what it comes down to, you know, just uh, lack of resources. And of course, you know, GTA Online being the big money maker that it is. But anyways, um, yeah, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the uh, description box below. And of course, leave me your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think? Would you have liked to see some sort of GTA single player story DLC? Or are you happy playing GTA Online with their free DLCs? I mean, we don't know if the single player story DLC would have been free possibly maybe um, I don't see why not since every other DLC has been free before but uh, let me know would you like to see a single player story DLC or are you perfectly happy playing GTA online and getting their you know GTA online DLC updates and uh, yeah stick around more videos are on the way and I will see you guys next time